Will I be doing a cop? Yeah, I'm going to be doing a cop video, but I'm not too sure how I want to do a cop video. Uh, I here's the thing. I'll be there's like 35 of you in here. I'll be honest with you guys. Like I, I've been trying to think of how I want to talk about it because the truth of the matter is I don't know if my channel is going to survive. And I don't want to sit there and say that as um, you know, as a fear mongering tactic, but I'm, I, but I'm being legit, right? So uh, the reason why I say that is I, I mean, I've been trying to get as much details as I can, and, and it, it gets to be a little bit much. Um, because it's like I talk a lot about Star Wars. And I look at that and I go, well, okay, Star Wars would could some pea brained pencil pusher from the FTC in a massive sweep look at my Star Wars content and go, yeah, I don't know. Like this looks like it's for kids. And then I get fined forty two thousand dollars or up to forty two thousand dollars, you know. I'm sure you're going to get a lot of warnings. They're going to give you a lot of warnings at first and whatever else you're going to get, like maybe like a multi-strike system, but it's one of those things you don't know. Like, um, like I can't talk about Disney after January 1st. That's pretty much true. Right? Like anything that's not maybe PG 13 rated. So star Wars could be okay, but Mandalorian's PG TV PG, even though they cut a dude in half is PG Right? That could be considered for kids. So I can't talk about Mandalorian. You know? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I have no freaking idea. So it's like, that's one of the reasons why I want to, I want to like do uh, the, the, the podcast here. Cause I want to build it up and uh, you know, go from there and like try to then, you know, do a, if do a patron or rebuild my Patreon and basically be like, look, if you guys like the show, kick in a dollar, if we can get like a thousand people to kick in a dollar per month, like that's a lot. You know, or something along those lines. I just haven't done it yet because I'm kind of like just trying to figure it out, like how I want to go about it. But that's the truth of the matter. It's like none of us know what's going on. Kappa is a frightening fucking thing, right? Like, like I just want to yell fuck Kappa. It, 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 not YouTube. because It's not YouTube's fault necessarily. And it really isn't. If you look at it, what it is. A Kappa, in essence, is designed to protect kids, right? YouTube was following the law by having the website be... 13 or older that's they were following the law what it is is it's some bureaucrat was like wait a minute hold on we need to update these things in order to go after youtube when you because what it is they go oh but kids are being marketed to you know why kids are being marketed to safety and anyone else you know why because parents hand them their goddamn phone like a fucking ipad nanny and then they, they the kids the kids are like okay well i don't feel like watching you know like whatever you watch which could be murder mystery or like you know uh, bikini waxing videos, by the way, they exist on there and they are like, woo, they're pornographic, but you know, and they, they go and they watch like, uh, like Peppa Pig or, or little baby bum or something like that. And so then because they're on their parents account who are over the age of 18, that data then gets, gets collected under the parents account. And the parents apparently have given their children explicit uh, permission to be able to access that account and use that data. Therefore, whatever data gets mined is already technically being approved by the parents, which is the entire point of the goddamn fucking law. So it's horseshit. It's it's fucking horseshit. When you look at what they say, when you when you look at what they say and you look at how they explain it, and then YouTube handled it in like one of the worst possible ways, like, oh, well, you know, you're going to want to consult a lawyer. We can't tell you what content's for kids. Neither can a fucking lawyer. What am I, what am I going to do? Where you put one on retainer and go like, Hey, yo, Bob, I'm going to fucking do a video about goddamn star Wars. You show any children. I don't know. I just, it's me talking and it could be for kids. Yeah. You don't fucking know. No one fucking knows. This is stupidest goddamn thing. It's the stupidest goddamn thing. It's ridiculous shit. It's just annoying as fuck because no one knows what's going on. The government won't give you specifics. YouTube can't give you specifics except a fear monger. And all that's going to do is drive more creators to falsely identify their content as for kids in order to keep themselves from, from getting hit with a $42,000 fine per video. But that won't protect you from everything. And, and they, they, they make no fucking, I mean, Jesus fucking Christ, dude, Jesus fucking Christ, right? You know, you know, you know how you fix COPPA in this shit? You know how you fix COPPA in the situation? You fucking make people use their goddamn IDs to get in an account, to verify their account. 
you verify everybody and they have to have an ID. Physical ID matches their name, right? But they're not going to do that because that gets, gets rid of anonymity and privacy. And I've been saying it for years anyway that eventually social media, which by the way, this platform is social media, is eventually going to do away with anonymity anyway. Right? Facebook's already done it for the most part. Got to use your ID to fucking verify an account to get on Facebook. You don't think that's coming here? It's coming here. And that might be the only way to get around this COPPA law because you have to be a certain age to do it. But then again, it's so fucking vague in its description. You have no goddamn idea. None. And I've watched a ton of videos on this too. People who, who are lawyers and people who are YouTube experts and they're all saying the same thing. They all just read off that fucking sheet. And you know what they don't do? You know what they really don't do? And this really pisses me off because I know they probably can't do because they don't want to get themselves in any kind of fucking trouble is they don't offer a fucking solution. All they say is, contact the FTC. We'll leave a link to a petition. Contact the FTC. That's it. And when you're a creator who looks at your own content and go, I talk about like cartoon movies, but I also say dick a lot. Am I am, am, like, do I have to stop? Like what, what, what content is safe? I already can't talk about like anything controversial because I, I get, I lose monetization, right? I get that. I get that, that dreaded fucking yellow dollar sign. If I talk about anything controversial, so I can't talk about anything controversial. So I have to go for more of like squeaky clean subjects. Oh my God, that could attract children. You're fucked either way. You are fucked either way. So the most people are going to look at it from the perspective of just saying, well, it, it's, I'm better off. I'm better off to just not fucking make content or I'm better off to not claiming that it's it's not for kids and then to 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 lose 60 to 90 percent of your revenue because they are fearful of the vague definitions of this antiquated two decade old law which i like i said and i agree with was designed to protect kids but it's clearly not being looked at by anyone who understands the fucking internet and that's why COPPA is absolutely, positively, infuriatingly bullshit. And YouTube can't do nothing to stop it because they just got fucked for $170 million. No one knows what to do. No one. You know what happened in the apocalypse, right? When no one knew what to do, they found what to do. They realize that if you turn on the creators, if you start creating drama, you'll be able to make that fucking money. If you turn on people, you know, if you fucking make it a show, if you bring them on in everything, you can make that fucking money. Because if you're swearing, if you're all upset and shit like that, then it's not going to be marked for kids. But if you create the drama and you give people that dopamine hit, you can make a lot of fucking green. 2020 is going to be a real fucking interesting year. I just want to talk about movies. You know, I want to talk about movies. I want to like make interesting videos. I want to talk to you guys. I want to fucking make a living, take care of my kids. And I'd love to do this show and have, you know, like 1500 a month or some shit in Patreon in order to be able to do that. And that's what I'm building towards. That's what I want to do. You know, like what well, I'll do a two hour stream and I'm being honest here. I'll do a two hour stream. I'll be up on this channel or even on the other channel. But I had it over there and I'll make like maybe 50 cents in two hours not viable, but I don't bitch about it. I'm being real, but I don't bitch about it. You know, I'm not going to sit there, hold up my hat and go like, please, sir, can I have like, no, nah, that's not me. I want to do that. But this situation is going to freak everybody out. And it's just, it's, it's fucking frustrating. So yeah, I want to talk about COPPA, but I clearly have a lot of emotions that are attached to it that are, are, are just confusing because I've been doing this as a full-time job for almost five years. And and I and I can usually figure out a way to at least squeak by, but now it's like, who knows what the fuck's going to happen? Do I take the 90% hit or do I risk fucking $42,000 a video when I put out four videos or so a day? Yeah. I'm just saying. It's... Uh, 
Bullshit. This video is supported by patrons like you. If you'd like to become a patron, please head over to patreon.com forward slash Matt Jarbo.